Welcome everyone, this is Viking, and today we're going to be flying the Fair de Lance. It's meant to be a bounty hunting vessel primarily. It's heavily armed, reasonably maneuverable given its size, and a little on the expensive side. Mine happens to have a nice little gold finish on it. First thing we gotta do to get out of here is declare that we wanna launch. Landing restraints retracted. You may proceed when ready. Press home to raise your landing gear. Landing gear retracted. Thrust upwards away from the pad. Make way for smaller traffic if you're a nice person. If not, hey. Choo choo motherfuckers, a challenge all comers to a contest of courage and mass. Alright, now you're not supposed to go over a hundred clicks when you're going through here. And they won't ding you for speeding per se, but if you hit something when you're going over a hundred, then they'll give you a ticket and you gotta pay a small fine. Speed restrictions lifted. Imperial Flight Operations Bureau wish you a safe onward journey. Now, I'm going to show you how to make some money in Elite Dangerous because a lot of people don't really know where to begin. I'm in a system that has resource extraction sites. So I'm going to pick a high risk one, Lock Destination. And then on my radar screen in the center, just to the left of it, there's a little gold dot in a small circle. Put the gold dot in front of me, and there it is, the resource extraction site. I'm going to press J drive charging. to enter. Drive charging. I'm going to press J to enter Super Cruise. Four, three, two, one, engage. And we will approach the resource extraction site. It says we're, there's six seconds until we arrive. We want to put the throttle in the gold zone or the blue zone as it's sometimes called. I've changed my HUD colors. And when it's at the bottom of that gold zone there, see now it's out of it and now it's in it, then you'll have a steady approach speed that's reasonably fast but not so fast that you'll slam into the rings and drop out of super cruise in a way that damages your ship. At one million meters, we'll be able to drop out with our destination lock active, which means we'll come out like within a couple of kilometers of the belt itself, which is where we want to be. Resource extraction sites are where miners go to mine and where criminals go to rob miners. It's also where cops go to police those criminals. Now, I'm going to change my radar scan range with page up and page down. You'll notice how uh, contacts can be triangles or squares. If they're triangles, it means their hard weapons hard points are deployed. I'm going to deploy mine. And I'm going to target this guy, exceeded. who has deployed his. I'm going to start my kill warrant scanner, because if he's worth, nah, he's clean. Never mind, never mind. Got to find some, oh, federal assault ship. These guys are never up to any good. Activate kill warrant scanner so that if he's worth any money in other systems, I'll be able to cash in on that bounty too. The kill warrant scanner is not necessary. You'll still get money even Scan if you don't detected. use one. Kill warrant scan complete, switching over to the guns. Alright, it would be nice if there were some cops around, and if you're in a small ship, you absolutely should wait for there to be cops around. But, uh, oh wow, I think these guys might might be facing off. If they are, I'll let someone else start the fight, and then I'll just piggyback, because that's ideal. It means you don't have to do the heavy lifting. It means you won't be much of a target. But nope, nope. All right, I'm putting power into my shields and weapons. No power to engines. I don't need the maneuverability right now. I just need the firepower. He's firing chaff. That's why those uh, the circles are dancing around. It's because my miniguns can't get a lock on him, and they can't fire accurately. But my, aha, his chaff is done, and I can fire the miniguns. 
Miniguns are great against the hull, not so great against shields. They're dancing again, so he's chaffing again. But I also have a fixed laser. It can't be fooled because it just fires straight ahead. No input from the targeting computer at all. All power to shields. Now some power to engines. Still need power to weapons. More power to engines. It makes me more maneuverable if I have power to engines. But if I have no power to shields, my shields are weak, so I gotta be careful about it. Ah, he's chaffing Target again, the bastard. Ah, I thought he was gonna take a shot at me, so I powered up shields. Target shields I got him at 5%. This guy is done, but I have almost no weapons power. Gotta power up the weapons. And he's done. Look for the bounty. 82 grand. Almost 83. Alright, these green guys are cops. What you really want to do is get close to them. Because they'll pick fights and then you can just join in. And then you won't even be a target. So you can leave your shields at empty. The deal with the with the engine pips here, I've got four power, uh, four pips in cis now. Now I've got four pips in engine with two in cis. Um, cis is your shields. When you got four pips in there, they're 2.4 times more powerful than they are if you just have two pips in, um, and they're much much weaker if you drain them entirely. Um, so you want to put some pips in cis if you're being fired upon, but otherwise you don't really need it. Oh, it's a python. Pythons are worth money. Target shields online. And he's not doing a great job of surviving. Okay. Target Activate the kill warrant online. scanner. I can fire my lasers at three kilometers. That's it. I turned him red. I hit him well enough that I get credit for the kill when he dies. But I'm also going to chip in a little more. Power up the weapons. Use the long range laser. I'm not even going to waste the, the ammo in my cannons. I'm not even going to switch to my cannons. Yep, yeah. 164 grand. You know what's worth even more than a python is an anaconda. I hope we get one of those. You're just an adder. Adders are tiny. They might be worth something, might not. I've got so many cops around here that if I start this fight, they will join in. So four pips to shields to weather the initial attack. Hit them a little bit to wear them down. I've completed the kill warrant scan. I'm gonna put power to engines now. Switch to the multi cannons and good night. Target destroyed. Pretty much nothing but cops around here. This is kind of a great situation. Um, it's a shame they're all splitting up and going different directions. I don't really know which group to follow. These guys are both rated deadly. I guess I'll hang out with them. Now, when you keep your throttle in the gold zone, you have maximum maneuverability. I can pull a pretty quick turn coming back on my own exhaust trail here if I'm in the, the maneuverability zone. But if I crank my throttle all the way up and go up to my max straight line speed, suddenly turning takes a little while. So when you're dogfighting, keep it in the gold zone. Keep it in the, uh, on your screen it'll be blue. Unless you change your HUD colors. Now, when we leave, we're going to be going back to Fabian City. So I'm going to pre-select that. So that when it's time to go, I won't have to think. Because sometimes it's time to go in a hurry. Alright. I seem to have lost track of my friends with cops, so let's head in their general direction here. There we go. Yep, these are the deadly guys. I'm looking around for signs of gunfire or something I can move towards and fight, because this is getting to be kind of a boring portion. Well, maybe I'll cover some other stuff about Elite Dangerous. You press U to stow and uh, deploy your hard points. So I'm going to put mine away. Over here in the power distribution, you've got your, you've got three capacitors for systems, engines, and weapons. 
um, if my shields were damaged, uh, then the system's capacitor would drain steadily in order to replenish them. When I fire my weapons, actually, let's put no pips to weapons, deploy hard points, and Power I'll use the beam laser. Exceeded. I'll just fire it off into the black. It takes a moment to deploy. And deployed. Alright, so as I fire this, my weapons capacitor drains rapidly. And when it hits nothing, that's it. I'm still pulling the trigger. Laser's done. I have to put pips back in weapons to recharge it. If it's if I've got now you don't get any extra damage out of charging that capacitor, it's just I mean the, the pips are just about how quickly it replenishes. But I can fire a lot longer if I've got four pips in weapons because it's recharging as I'm firing. You can also see the heat climbing up on my radar, 65, 66, 69, 71. Lasers generate a fair bit of heat. I just realized I'm six clicks away from my buddies here. I'm gonna boost on over there. I'm putting power in engines to make sure that when I use the boost, the capacitor quickly recharges. It also gives me more straight line speed and more maneuverability. When I'm just flying around, I usually put four in engines and two in cis, so that if I get ambushed, my shields are still reasonably strong. But I still have lots of maneuverability for when I'm trying to catch up to someone or set things up. My word, this is boring. There's just not a lot to shoot here all of a sudden. So, there's a thing called flight assist. I'm using it right now. I've been using it for almost the end. Oh, there we go. Thank goodness, some lasers. Anyway, flight assist. Um, when it's turned on, your thing flies like a plane. Whichever direction you're you're going, that's that's sort of your forward direction. But I can cut throttle. Flight assist off. Turn off flight assist, and I'm still like this guy's pointed down. He's using flight assist, but I can move my spaceship in any orientation I want, and I just carry with whatever momentum I had. If I fire upwards thrusters, it'll seem like he pulls away from me, um, and then I can just point myself towards the fight, which is no longer happening because we were too far away and didn't get here in time and throttle up and engage flight, flight assist. assist. Um. And now it starts flying like an airplane again. Federal dropship, thank goodness. Kill warrant scanner. I see that he is wanted. Federal dropships are almost always wanted, but you gotta check. Oh yeah, boy that guy did not think quick on his feet. Alright, let's activate the multi-cannons, because these drop ships are... They have a pretty strong hull. Makes sense to use maximum firepower. Ah, he's chaffing. There we go. Did a little bit of ramming to action. Did a little bit of ramming damage. Let's see what else we got around here. Vipers. Couriers. Oh, they're already shooting. So just aim at whoever's already been fired upon. That's this guy. Imperial Courier. They have very strong shields. Like, couriers have amazingly strong shields for their size. Target shields offline. Once the shields are down, however, they don't last long. Alright, scan complete. Under attack. And someone else finished him off. Target destroyed. Whoop. Federal gunship.
Wanted. My shields aren't doing great. I'm gonna hit a shield cell bank. Warning, temperature shield cell banks generate a lot of heat. Flight assist on. This is what happens when you don't put any pips in engines. It's so hard to turn. And his buddy, the Federal Assault Ship, is shooting me. It's a good thing I used that shield cell bank, or my shields would have dropped. Target shields offline. Warning, temperature critical. Alright, now that I've tagged him, I'm actually going to switch back to the kill warrant scanner. I want to get a little extra money from him if I can. Federal dropship. Well, we had a doldrums patch, but we're doing okay now. So many cops in the area that I can just open up on this guy, and they will basically finish the job for me. Target shields offline. Go ahead, hit me. I'm not afraid of your plasma accelerator. Flight assist off. Target cargo dropped. Flight assist on. It's 100 grand. Destroyed. Whoops. This thing is an anaconda. It's one of the largest ships in the game. And battle fitting it costs something like three quarters of a billion credits. Although fitting it for trade is only about like, I don't know, 400 million, something like that. Well, I kind of wanted to shadow him because, hang, I mean, they have so much firepower that it, they just chew through enemies, but uh, the keelback's probably the good guy. Yeah, it's a good guy. Or it's a bad guy. Maybe the keelback finished the bad guy. I don't actually mind being out of the fight for a couple minutes. I want my shields to recharge. I've only got two rings. A fair to lance. That's what I'm flying. And it's elite. I need to kill elite things. I really need to kill elite things. Oh, man, that's awesome. I'm going to get there in time and everything. Kill warrant scan. Frameship charge detected. Oh no, you don't. Target shields online. When it said frameshift uh, search detected, that means that he's trying to jump out of here. Ah! God damn it! I'm just gonna, f I'm just gonna deselect a target and fire my machine guns dry, and that way they're reloaded for next time. Curses! 
Man, went so far out of my way to get that guy, and he was elite too. See, my combat ranking is currently deadly, 71%, and when that tops out, I'll be elite, and it can't increase any any further beyond that. And I only get credit for kill, I like that 71%. That's only going to tick up if when I kill elite pilots. So if I see one and I'm allowed to kill it, I really want to kill it. No, I said I'd select... Actually, you know what? I could, normally I would just go back to the resource extraction site and carry on for a little bit, because i got plenty of ammo and everything. But I'm going to wrap this up and show you how to finish your bounty hunting run once you're done. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to go check this out, but then after this, even if there's nothing there, it's straight back to Fabian City. See, right now, in my Transactions tab, I see that I've got... Uh, Hip 20277 and uh, 71,000 uh, in Empire and 460,000 in Calinero. All that money, I haven't taken that money in yet. And yet, sure enough, I was too late. There's nothing left, is there? Or is there? Yay! One more guy before we go back. Under attack. Assist Kill warrant scan's not quite done yet. Flight assist on. Target shields offline. Oh, I didn't have any weapons power left. That's why my shot didn't work. Alrighty. Destroyed. Way to end it on a high note, we're going to aim away from the asteroid belt because it is massive and it will inhibit our frame shift. We're going to retract our hard points by pressing U. Frame shift drive charging. J to activate frame shift drive. Four, three, two, one. Engage. Pulling away from the rings. And pulling up to head towards Fabian City. When approaching a space station, um, it's almost always facing inwards towards whatever it's orbiting. Fabian City is, orbi is orbiting that gas giant behind us, so the fact that we're coming from the gas giant straight towards Fabian City means that we're probably not going to have to maneuver around the station in order to find the docking slot. Now, we're at 7 seconds ETA, so I get it down to the bottom of the blue zone. Gold zone. Now, as it happens, the ship I'm in is equipped with an automatic docking computer. But uh, I'm going to fly it through the mail slot myself, and then I'll kill my throttle, let the docking computer take it down onto the landing pad. But normally, you have to... Actually, you know what? I'll just dock it myself. Standard docking computer. Disabled. Now after a rewarding session of bounty hunting, it's quite possible to forget to ask permission to dock. Don't do that. You'll be killed. Vulcan Peterson, Romeo, Uniform Charlie. The Imperial Flight Operations Bureau welcomes you to this station, Commander. Access permitted. Float route for approach to landing pad 03. See how it says proceed to landing pad 3? If, if no proceed to landing pad instructions are present, don't don't go through the mail slot, they'll kill you for that. You have to have permission to dock or you die. As I come through the slot, I'm gonna press home to drop my landing gear. It says I'm supposed to go to pad three. I can see that visually right here, but even if I couldn't, that small circle to the left, to the, uh, to the top left of my radar, um, the gold dot there is your landing pad. So if you can't see your landing pad, look at that mini radar. And then as you get in close, it will 
tell you how close you are. You do a little maneuvering, downwards thrust. Confirm your landing gear is down. It is. And that's it. Touchdown confirmed. You may alight when ready. Our facilities are at your disposal, Commander. I'm going to enter the hangar and go to Starport Services. First things first, refuel, repair, and restock. Because I spent a shield cell bank and a ton of uh, cannon ammo. Then we go to contacts. Redeem all bounty vouchers. You see I got 68.8 million dollars. Then I say redeem all bounty vouchers and boom, now I'm over 70. Um, now that cash has been banked. If I had died before cashing it in, all of that would have been lost. You can see how much you've got built up on your transactions tab. Because I use a kill warrant scanner, I also got some bounties for the Federation and the Alliance, but there are no Federal Alliance reps here to pay me because this is Imperial space. Um, but from time to time, I head over into Alliance or Federation space and claim the bounties when they get high enough. So I got about another $2 million waiting for me when I can be bothered to make a long journey. And that's it. Lather, rinse, repeat. That's how you go bounty hunting in Elite Dangerous to make money for more and cooler ships. Cheers.